Hi. In this session, we are discussing about infusoria. Infusoria is an alternative live feed. What is live feed? Live feed is the living feed. And the living feed, we are giving this live feed to the young fish, that is the baby fish, we are leaving the live feed. Artemia, Moina, Daphnia are examples of the live feed. And the live feeds are very costly. Sometimes it is not available. As a result of, instead of this uh, live feed, we are giving alternative live feed. Infusoria is an example of alternative life feed. What is infusoria? Infusoria is a group of microorganisms. It is a collection, it is a group of microorganisms, you know it, and some algae or the paramecium's and that is infusoria. It is a collective term for minute aquatic creature like ciliate and the euglenoid and protozoa and unicellular algae. This group of this microorganisms is known as the infusoria and this infusoria is used as a feed for aquarium fishes, especially the burby fish we are feeding this infusoria. And uh, that is in the previously it is infusoria is assigned to the kingdom Protista. These are the pictures is showing infusoria. We already discussed about what is infusoria is a group of microorganism that is aquatic creature and uh, it is used as the food. Cilia, euglenoid, protozoa and the unicellular algae are together known as this infusoria. Sometimes small invertebrates are also associated with this unicellular algae and paramecians and this ciliate. Collectively, we are using the term infusoria. And uh, it is the freshwater microorganisms and the micro crustacea and uh, all this fish copy is known as, as the fry food. That is the fry, young one of the fish is the fry, fr by fry, the young one of the fish. And this infusoria is a feed to use the fry of the fish. It is especially the aquarium, the hobby, the aquarius is used, aquarium food. And let's see how to culture this infusoria. The culture of infusoria is very easy. It is very simple. Using the cabbage leaf or any vegetables we are using or the spinach leaf or cabbage leaf or banana leaf, we can make this infusoria. Culturing of the infusoria. For culturing the infusoria, uh, we need the first is we want a clean glass bottle, one liter containing a clean glass bottle and water and some leafy vegetable. The first step is we are chop this leafy vegetable into uh, two that is small pieces. We chop this vegetable leaf and uh, consider we are taking a 1 liter of bottle, 1 by 3 of the bottle, One uh, we are filled with this uh, vegetable and uh, after that we are filling the bottle, 1 3 of the bottle is filled with the water. We are using the warm water, that is sometimes the boiled water we are using and fill the bottle with the water then the uh, Kept that bottle sometime for uh, rest, sometime give some rest to this uh, water mixed with the vegetable leaf. The spinach leaf is very good result. When we are using the spinach leaf or banana leaf, it will produce more infusoria. And fill in this bottle with the chopped banana leaf or uh, chopped spinach leaf, we are kept this uh, bottle this uh, in the Window sill, that is, sunlight is very essential for producing the infusoria. So, kept this bottle under the sunny place, that is very important. 
and after one to two, three days, what happened? This water turned into milky color. This milky color indicates that the organism is started to grow. And wait for one to three days. That is the milky color show the uh, bacteria is culturing in the water. That is the milky color. After, uh, after one day, this milky color will disappear. That indicates that this infusoria started to develop inside the bottle and this infusoria started to feed this bacteria. And the next day, it is the sculpture is ready to use the as a feed. The next day, we are collecting this water and we can feed our baby fish in the aquarium. So, I will repeat uh, once again the, uh, the essential requirement of producing the infusoria is a glass container about one liter and the most important thing is we wanted to clean clean this glass container and the sunny place is very important and the leafy any leafy vegetables or banana leaf we can use and and we are uh, this one by fourth of the glass bottle is filled with the chopped vegetable and uh, other part is filled with the water and the aquarium water is also add into the bottle and place this clean water bottle near the window sill and the sunlight is getting we we'll sure that the sunlight is getting and very important is that never use the chlorinated water chlorinated water will the microorganism will not grow in the chlorinated water and after one to three days this water is stained into milky color and the milky color is indicated that the bacteria is growing in the water and after one day this milky color disappear that show that the infusoria is there that is group of microorganism is there and the next day we can uh, next day we can collect this water and we can feed our uh, baby fish uh, feed our baby fish into infusoria that is uh, alternating like this that is infusoria to develop the water become cloudy and all these things we already discussed and uh, we are using some small dropper dropper and drop wise we can give this uh, infusoria to the baby fish that's all about the infusoria and it is very easy you must prepare your infusoria in your house and you can use it is a very good alternative live feed for your aquarium fish especially it is the feed for the young fish okay thank you